Double check the magazine, nothing here. Double check in the room, nothing here. Okay, let's get ourselves active and moving. Oh, it's foggy. Foggy is bad. Foggy generally means, from what I understand about the fog mechanic in this game, is it means infinite zombies will spawn. And they'll spawn at the outskirts of the fog. So it's really a day that you want to kind of hide out inside. I'm just not here to hide out inside and play it safe. I'm here to show you guys what I would do. So I'm now walking around with my shotgun and my... I, this is so nice having 16 times less population than I'm used to. It's so nice. Anytime you're going through trees, don't run. Just walk and you won't scratch yourself nearly as often. Now, if you're thin-skinned, which I like to do a lot, you will scratch yourself sometimes, but not if you're wearing a jacket or whatever. All right, we're going to come check out this house up here. See what's up here. I like to zoom out to be able to get like an occasional glance in every direction. Another tip when you're running from zombies is running through trees to break line of sight is a great way to do it as long as you have what I call an end point. Where if I'm running through the trees, right, and the zombie's here, and I come here, and I keep running through the trees, if he spots me even a tenth of a second through the trees, he relines up his vision on me and will start chasing full bore again. So what I like to do is go through trees and then run around a building or something that completely blocks their vision. That gives you a good escape. Hit E to check the trunk. Trunk is locked. Go to the driver's side, check the door. Locked. Go to the passenger side, check the door. Locked. So now what I'll do is I'll smash the window with my weapon of the passenger side because then when I'm driving I don't get eaten. I got inside, check the glove box for keys, no keys. We got some cigarettes, we'll take that for stress I guess. March Ridge, do this, read map. You now have the map. Come here, March Ridge, put it back. Now, whenever you hit M, you will immediately see if you zoom way out, March Ridge's entire map over here. See? Community buildings, I think that's food, and I think yellow something. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out. Now, hit V when you're in the vehicle, V for vehicle. You can switch seat to number one, and now we're in the driver's seat. So we can unlock the trunk, unlock the doors, and we can look if there's key. No key for this car found? Darn. Bad luck. That's okay. We can step out. Come back here. Check the trunk now. Screwdriver. There we go. Once you have a screwdriver, do not use it as a weapon. Favorite it and keep it. That way you now have a tool, so now we can mess with electronics a little bit. Check out the house. Oh, I see a horde coming. They heard my noise, I think. They're going to start beating on the window. Yep. We do not want to be here. I do, because I play this game all the time. I would recommend running in this case. Check the garbage bag. Radish seeds packet, we'll take that just in case. You're a cop. I know you got a gun and a holster. So, holster. Let's wear. Nightstick. We'll attach to our left belt. Pistol. And eh, we don't need the pistol. We could take it, but I don't I don't like pistols until my aiming skills are a little higher. Come on, guys. I know you're going to trash this house, but I'll fight you one or two at a time. Come on. See those moodles in the top right, though? That's what's making me nervous. We're starting to get a panicked moodle, and we're overburdened. So that's an issue for us. We need to eat some food to give ourselves that extra plus two weight. So I will grab the chips. I will eat them. Get my hunger up so this fairly heavy load goes away. Boom. Now we're not fairly heavy load anymore. Now we can fight. Let's go handle the zombies that are isolated over here. No, don't you lunge at me. Get them all on the ground. Start smashing heads. Take a glance. They broke the window over here somewhere. There we go. Stay at your max range. Whenever possible. Don't get greedy and start looting yet. I think they just broke the door down. Yep. Oops. Alright, we know there's one below us. And there's two to our left. So keep an eye on all of them. Let's circle around so they're all on the same side of us. Now, you can do some crazy stuff where you stand on a zombie body to hold it down while you're fighting other zombies. I tend not to like to get myself stuck in place. We are overheating. Keep that in mind. Thirst is increased. We already are very thirsty as a character. Something to keep in mind. 
Just remember to keep this stuff straight in your head while you're walking around. Mini skirt, that's us for sure. Alright, let's look for anything good. Nothing here. There's a pistol. Now, one thing you can do with a pistol is attach it to your holster. And look, your weight barely goes up, but it still goes up one kilo, one and a half kilos. So, one, yeah, 1 1.05. That's fine. But since we're already having um, weight increase problems, where we're already getting overburdened, I'm going to drop that pistol and not pay attention. And the reason I don't pay attention to that pistol very often early game is because most of my characters don't have the ability to shoot pistols very well. It doesn't have any ammo, so it's useless to me, right? It's extra weight, and pistols are single-shot guns. Shotgun is great. It'll hit multiple zombies, which means every zombie you hit gives you a little bit of EXP. Whereas a pistol, if it hits one zombie, you get one tick of EXP for it. We really need to clear out the zombies around here before... Oh, two holes in that jack. Oh, see, they're starting to swarm. This is where it gets a little crazy. If you're quick with that extra fitness that I told you guys to take, you can hit these guys a lot faster than normal. So it makes it more possible to do this kind of thing. You always want to hit the head. That guy has a weapon of some kind in his back. I heard something to my right. Got a peek. Yep, there's someone coming. Oh, some couples hit. And then space. I don't know why that space went through that zombie, but that's okay. If you play this game enough, you realize that stuff happens a lot. And there's not much you can do to avoid it. So what you do is you just position yourself in a way that nobody's close enough to bite you, even if you whiff. That's the key. All right. Antidepressants. Those are always good. Digital watch. Grab those. I'll show you why later. It's a good way to build your... Ah, screwdriver. That's better than the one I have. So what I'll do is I'll pick that up and then I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of the one that I favored it earlier. Just for the higher durability one. Why not? It's a one-to-one -one screwdriver. See what I mean? Here's here's how you open the tab to see both. This condition, unfavorite. This condition, favorite. And then what you do is close the tab and watch. If I tell this guy to drop the screwdrivers, he'll only drop the unfavorited one. That's the reason you favorite. Because then you don't accidentally say, you know, tr transfer all... And then, oh, another screwdriver. How many of these are there? I'm not I'm not doing that again. I don't care. Digital watch, collect. Denim shirt. Those are great. You can wear it. It has no hole in it. It'll give me bite and scratch resist. That's always a good thing. But now we have to be careful with overheating because we know we've already been getting... Let's grab another... Now, I'm going to show you guys the trick with the digital watches. If you right-click them and dismantle them, you'll get a little bit of electronics EXP, which is very important for people who want to be able to loot cars. The only thing you'll get in return are these little scrap electronics, which you don't need until you get a generator later. So just keep in mind, if you don't have the burglar trait that we chose at character creation, then you will need to find a way to get your electronic skill up to one, which will basically mean breaking... Ooh, metalworking. You can read that in a little bit. We'll leave it there, because we know we can't really relax in this house unless we go upstairs. Let's check the kitchen. Holy kitchen warrior. Good lord, mac and cheese. We're going to eat some of that. That's some good calories. Now let's track our calories under info. Make sure we're not gaining weight. If this gets an up arrow, it means we're going to gain weight overnight. So you really have to be cautious to not do that too much. You can see we're thirsty and wet from sweating. Full to bursting. Good. So we will fill all of our mugs. And then we will drink some water. Take a look around for anything else we can take with us. Canned potatoes. Tomatoes. Fresh. Ice cream, that's a really good source of calories. Okay. Do we have a TV in this house? No, and it's about to be a class. So let's check this room. Bathroom again. If we had a hammer, we could dismantle a door and theoretically build another door. Let's check upstairs. All right. Come up to the light switch. Click it to turn it on. Check in here. Foraging volume one. We'll take that downstairs so we can read it. V-neck sweater vest. Oh, geez. Nothing in here? Okay. Let's go check over here. Sleeping tablets, we'll take those. Those are lightweight. That's why we'll take them. Check both. Box of 308 rounds. Long down. Leather jacket. There we go. That's our first major defense. See how it has a combat speed modifier? It makes you slower at fighting. So make sure you're not overburdening yourself too much because you can get burdened pretty quickly in this game. A rifle, 308 rounds. I don't want them, but guess what I'm going to do on my map? 
Where'd we go? We're way over here still. We're going to find a gun icon or a weapon icon. Let's see. There we go. Gun. Boop. And then we also know there's food here. Indicate it here. Tool. Yes. Hammer. There we go. Right click. Favorite. Now we have the ability to tear doors off their hinges. This is very, very valuable. And do carpentry. Weapon up. Okay. Nope. We're good. Plunger. Another weapon. Sheet. Just to protect ourselves from being seen. Okay. Plenty of sheets in this house, but I don't like a house whose door is bashed in. So let's go downstairs. Let's actually... Where's the nearest TV that we've been to? Let's run. Holding shift to run. I don't... Hold. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies there. Did not want... See, now I have to lure them through the trees. To lose line of sight. Hold Alt if you want to go faster, but I'm overburdened, so I can't really do that. This is a house that is a known quantity to us. Are you serious? I forgot to unlock that door. Man, I'm terrible at this game. There we go. We're getting our class. Bang, bang, there's a piece of wall. While we're listening, we can read the foraging book. We really need to whittle down some of this weight. Oh. Not going out there till I know. What do you got on you? Nothing? Alright. We're back to reading. Don't bother us. We're getting some carpentry skill here. Antidepressants. Might have to take those if I make myself sad. What else are we carry in? the majority of our weight. One of the easiest things to do is you can use this to sort in different ways. You can sort by maximum weight to the top, for example. Makes it easier, but I just, I tend not to mess with it. Unless I have to. I just leave it at default. That's just personal preference. But we're already, we already have a screwdriver. We have a hammer. So we can do most carpentry jobs with those two together. We just need a saw now to finish it all out. We don't have a wrench yet. We don't have a pipe wrench, but we're doing pretty good in terms of just finding a screwdriver and a hammer that we can hold on to. And we also have a weapon. That's interesting. All right. Never delay yourself for reading early game. Fill all of these with water. Let's take a drink, get rid of the drink. And now let's head back to that house. It just didn't have a TV. We could always, if we wanted to make that house a safe haven for ourselves, we could just bring the TV with us. I don't care much about making a safe haven. This is still only day two. So we're going to go back and fight those zombies that we lured into the woods earlier. There they are. Let's go fight these goofuses. There we go. Big old horde. Oh, the scary music. How exciting. Try to get your angles so that you're not fighting multiple of them at a time. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. That's because my computer sucks. Don't worry, you won't get that. And I'm burdened. That's why I feel like I'm lagging. Uh-oh. I messed up. I'm burdened. I should not have started this fight while burdened. Let's find some weight we can drop. Let's drop the shotgun. There we go. Now we're no longer burdened. Let's see panic. That'll lower your damage. So once you're not burdened anymore, now let's fight. Now, I wouldn't normally drop my shotgun for obvious reasons. Let's take a look around ourselves. Make sure nothing's coming from this way. Let's hurdle ourselves over the fence. You're going to lunge. I know you are because you're jerks. There you go, lunging. That cheesy lunge. Now, they put that lunge in so people can't just sit on one side of a fence to, like, hold off a million zombies because you theoretically could. Oh, what's that sound? I hear a zombie from another angle. Okay. Tap shift to run away if you ever get in trouble. Stay away from those lungers. Tap shift to get away. Tap shift to get away. Let's get it so one's alone. I'm going to just hit them a couple times. Yep. Too many of you standing in a row, because then if I hit the first one, the second and third one will jump at me. Get a couple lungers, that'll delay them from standing up. 
And now the horde's getting all up at the same time. See, I don't like them coming from different angles at all. What I'll do is I'll walk just far enough away that the ones in the back stop holding their hands up so they move slower. See that? So I'm baiting this guy. See? He's walking faster than the others because he's lunging now. So now I've isolated him. Shift away. Do -do 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 -do. See, we're extremely panicked, which means we do virtually no damage. So we need to walk away until we stop being panicked. If we had beta blockers, I'd take them. We don't, so we'll walk away until our panic goes away. Until it calms down a little. What? Are you in the house? That's rude. Alright. Do we have any more food on us? Nah, but what does bourbon do? We'll drink half. Let's go. We gotta get ourselves ready for this upcoming fight. Calm down our panic a little. Make sure we're not thirsty. Let's get a little tipsy. Let's go. Zombie fighting. Drunk zombie fighting. Let's go. That's two of you. What else you guys got? Anything else? Ooh, a Louisville map. I'll take that just since I know I want it. Come on, doofuses. <laughs> I have a fence protecting me. That should not have happened. It normally prioritizes the zombies that are... See, that will be how you die. That'll be it right there. Let's see if we got bitten because it was from behind. as laceration. Disinfect with our bourbon. So, ordinarily, the game is supposed to... Now, keep in mind, you're going to get cheesed like that quite a bit in this game. This game's a little bit buggy in the best of days. <laughs> but what happens is you're supposed to target who's up standing up with your prioritization every time you're always supposed to target whoever's standing automatically when it doesn't do that you start getting glitchy things that happen and when you notice them like for example if you're swinging at a zombie through a door right so a lot of times the door will glitch out and it will it'll catch you essentially because you'll swing at the door the zombie will bite through the door no problem but you won't be allowed to swing through the door for example okay what is happening in here this sounds what are you doing? Dude, this is a perfectly good door. Stop doing that. So what'll happen when... What I always tell the wife or myself, basically, when you notice glitchy things, immediately move. Just leave. Because there's nothing you're fighting for that's good enough for you to stay there and basically get murdered. Oh, we have a bottle. That's nice. Good from drinking the bourbon. These are great water bottles. You don't need as many mugs, because mugs are terrible. So I'll drop the mugs and just treat it like I have the one water bottle. That's much easier to manage. But if any time the game gets a little glitchy or laggy or anything, walk away and try to figure out what's happening. I'm exhausted, so I need to sleep soon. I'm also injured. That's a severe damage. Lacerations are 25% chance to be panicked or murdered, so basically infected. And since we have prone to illness, it's going to be a little weaker and slow healer. It's going to be a little weaker than normal. But if we don't see a queasy status here at some point in the next day or so, we're going to be fine. Cooking, finally. That would be the best lesson ever, though, if I put on a how to play the early game and then I have that happen and then I die to a laceration that'd be the best lesson of this game ever because some things you just can't prevent and you don't worry about it you go oh okay I got lacerated in day two by some cheese ball thing who cares just play again but see there are ways I could have survived that even if the game had cheesed me into getting hit like that there are ways remember the thing I told you guys about you know patching up your hoodies with things like that you can always give yourself an extra you know one or two percent bite and scratch resistance I'm gonna what the burning. No, I'm going to eat one of these. You're going to make me happy with food. That's right. Okay, now we're going to set our alarm on our watch. We want to wake up at 1800. So what we're going to do is set it to 1750. Turn on the alarm. Go into the bed. Let's get some sleep. Oh, we can't sleep. Too much pain to sleep. This is where you need painkillers. I don't think I have any. I don't. And if I had that bourbon, I would drink it. But we don't have painkillers. Darn. Okay. Too much pain. So what we'll do is we'll just hang out 
and keep fighting. Let's go. Let's go get that shotgun back, put it on our back again. Overburdened. Probably because we're tired. I don't know. We really do need a backpack. That's one thing we really need to kind of panic find is a backpack. Because if we don't find a backpack very, very soon, we're going to find ourselves in trouble. Let's go looting these houses down here. We might be able to find a backpack in a house. Another trick you can use is we saw that garbage bag up there. You can carry a garbage bag in your secondary hand. And it will reduce the weight of things you're carrying by 10%, I think it is. But it's not great because if you ever hop a fence, you're doomed. Oh, that's not good. I guess we're going to have to go the way of the king. Sorry, guys. We need you to not be alive. Stand still to get blue and then fire. Let's reposition so they're all in one line. Stand still to get blue. And fire. And fire. Let's reload while we're here. Work on our reloading, and then we can shove this guy over. Ugh. Get on the ground, you. Get on the ground, mister. I'm shoving you with a gun. How do you like that? Okay, I am pathetic right now. See? And if you look at the Moodles in the top right, the Moodles are why. There we go. We're handling business. Definitely not luring a bunch of zombies by making noise. Definitely do this as a new player. Make noise! 